discipleship. You know, it's in it's in uh, it's in Matthew 28 where he says, "Go and make disciples." And I think uh, as a, as a church, a modern day church, we, we kind of drop the ball because we're always talking about converts. Um, it, it doesn't say go and make con- conversion, even though conversion is part of the process. You have to get them in, but that's not the end game. You know, he's called us to make disciples. Now, what is a disciple? A disciple is a learner. A disciple is one who uh, has discipline and learning from the teacher. Uh, John 8, 31 and 32 says that if you abide in my word, and this is Jesus talking, if you abide in my word, then you are truly my disciples. And then he goes on and says, and you should not know the truth and, and the truth will set you free. And I think where our concern comes here, at least at the dwelling place, is that we are called to make disciples, you know, and uh, and that requires that we abide in His Word. And abiding in His Word is, is a deeper relationship than just knowing about Jesus or saying a simple prayer. Um, you know, there are, there are expectations as a Christian that we have on us. If you don't believe it, just look at Matthew 5. And we call them the grace commands. But, you know, uh, we can't confuse um, living in grace with having a get out of jail free card and, and live how we want. Um, there are expectations as far as uh, living a life uh, separate from the world and, and being holy and striving to uh, have a relationship with God through good conduct. And so being a disciple is actually taking His Word, abiding in His Word, and then not only that, but living it out. There's, there's difference between theory and application. You know, I was a, a science major. I love science. And the reason I love science is because what we would do is we'd go into the classroom, we would learn the book knowledge, and then we would go across the hall, all right, we'd get the test tubes out, we'd put chemicals together, and we would see if what we learned in the classroom actually happened in real life. And I love that about the sciences. And I think we need to take that approach in our spiritual lives because a lot of us can repeat verses of Scripture and have the right verse to say when somebody's going through hard times. But until we abide or until we apply the Word, I think we're missing the boat, and I don't think we're true disciples until we do that.